Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming to watch Destroyer 1320. We're playing around with Jarhead again. Today we're going to see if this thing runs. Will it run? All right, so are we set up, man? We are ready to go, brother. All right, let's start this bad boy up, see if it runs, see what happened. No idea what's going to happen, guys, so uh, sure my wife's bear with us. Yeah. Your wife may not like that if it does fire, so uh, just getting ready to set the timing, getting everything, all the juices and oils are all in, we're ready to go. We got update from last time, we got the header installed on this side, everything's wired, plumbed, done, got the new flex plate, that was a whole adventure in itself. Uh, one change that will happen eventually is... This Edelbrock intake is going away and the carb is going away. And what are you putting on? I'm putting a Bill Miller Products uh, intake manifold on it and a Pro Systems carburetor is going on it. Nice. Uh, the carburetor should be here in about a week. The intake manifold because nobody wants to go back to work and the foundry's like hurt for people. I ordered it in end of July and they said I won't get it till the end of September. Wow. That frickin' blows. We're doing it. All right, let me get back. See if this thing goes or blows. I don't see fuel shooting anywhere. That's fun to hop on there when it's uh, up on the jack stands, but. Oh, come on, baby. Running a little bit rich. Woo! So Brian, uh, what's our plan here? When are we heading out to uh, give this thing a little shakedown? Uh, well, planning on doing it on the 17th. Uh, 17th. September. Nice. Um, the only issue I can see is is if the carburetor is going to show up around the same time, but it's not going to be that day. Do I take it down there and fumble around with this thing? Or wait or to get I the just other wait? one. For an extra week because they are going to have a drift and drag down there on uh, the 24th of September, which nothing against you drag people, but drifting and drag suck. Yeah. The parking sucks. They put them together, it's terrible. So, um, probably, 
I would guess probably the 24th is when it's going to happen because I'd really like to put that new carburetor on here for it. Yeah. Um, but we're really not going to go down there and try and burn anything up the first day anyway. So if it's drift and drag, who cares? If I get two, three passes in, I'm happy. I just got to make sure the brakes work, the suspension works. We're going to see if this thing will actually hook. Yeah. And then uh, do some NA passes and yeah, shut off. Just shake down stuff and, and not in a big hurry. You know, it's uh, this whole this whole ordeal started in December, January of last year, um, and in that time, I've spent probably close to ten grand. Yeah. So why be in a hurry? Right. It doesn't make any sense. No. No, get it right the first time, and there isn't one piece of a drivetrain in this car that isn't brand new. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, take your time with that. A couple racks to get it or whatever. I'm good with that. Yeah, we'll get it running, get it straight, and then what smack this thing with some nitrous. Start playing it with with it from there. See if we can get it dialed in. Then we'll be able to uh, head out to a little bit of competition. I know this is going to sound weird, all you people that aren't from Arizona, but uh, November in Arizona is racing season. Yes, it is. <laughs> so it's December and January, February, March, and most April. Yeah. So it's not like I'm running up against the Illinois. I got to get it all done before November because in the second week in November, everything shuts down. Right. Uh, this place is just starting to open. In fact, I was contemplating going down there even if I got the brand new car because of Eric's probably looked. The 10 day forecast for Arizona right now. It's yeah. over 105 degrees. Every yeah. Day. Yeah, it's almost pointless to even try and shake so, it down with that. So I don't want to be uncomfortable. It's so damn hot. I mean, the car's going to do what the car does, but I just don't want to go down there and be nasty and just uncomfortable. I mean, that's not what it's all about. No, so, when you're wearing a full suit and all that, you don't want to be stuck in there burning up. No. But you saw it. You saw it without the motor in it, then you saw pieces of the motor in it, and now it's running. So. Yeah, well, that's uh, one step closer to actually pulling these wheels up. Now all I need to do is get Eric to have an event. Yeah, yeah, everybody look for sponsors. We got to sponsor an event out here so we can uh, put this thing up against some people and see what it'll do. Oh, yeah. Let's go out have some fun. Oh, let's do it, man. All right, guys, well, hey, that's going to do it for the update on Jarhead for today. Uh, more updates to come as we get this thing ready to rock and roll out to the track. As soon as he gets the new carb, I'll include you with that. The new intake will include you with that. And you guys will be part of the first test hits and then the first full hits with this thing on nitrous. So we got a little ways to go, but came a long way. So until next time, let's say, let's say goodbye to Jarhead. See ya. Later.